It is now April, so that means the month of March is over. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you what I did in the month of March. Be sure to let me know what you did in the month of March down in the comments below. So for the month of March, I uploaded three videos. I had the February 2018 update, the MTG Eagle Board, which is a product uh, by MTG, which should help you catheterize yourself independently if you do not have very good finger or hand dexterity like myself and also a video on heterotopic ossification so if you haven't seen those videos be sure to check them out now on to the things that happened in March there wasn't much that happened in March but there is a few things that I want to share with you I do want to say that the focus or lighting on this camera is weird as you can see it looks like I'm extremely pale but for some reason it's just uh, due to the lighting outside which makes it look really weird. I don't know if you knew this or not but whenever I was in my car accident I knocked out six of these teeth right here on top so these six teeth on top are fake and I have what they call a partial which is just basically fake teeth and it goes um, on the top of my uh, mouth and it goes all the way back and wraps around my two back teeth right here. Or that was how it used to be and there was actually a hole that was um, starting to form in the back of where it went around my tooth due to my uh, wisdom teeth coming in. However, I didn't know what was causing the hole so I sent back my uh, partial to the company that made it and they like filled the hole. But whenever I got it back um, it didn't fit right and my teeth were like sideways like that so I took it to my local dentist and he basically just cut um, the parts off that went around the back teeth and so far it has been working good. Having teeth and being able to use them is actually really important for quadriplegics since we don't have very good hand dexterity uh, we have to rely on our teeth a lot so uh, luckily I was only out of teeth for a couple of days before I got them back. In the month of March I did buy tickets for another concert that I'm going to and uh, I'm going to it sometime in May and it's going to be Jason Aldean and Luke Combs and uh, Luke Combs is my favorite artist right now and he's a country music singer and he's really good um, his voice is really good and he also does make most of his songs which I think is really cool um, especially whenever you actually sing the song yourself. So I'm looking forward to going to that concert and I should have a video for you guys just like I did at the uh, Chris Young concert. So in the month of March I did get me a Reacher made by Quad Tools and there will be a link down in the description below but you can see this right here is freaking awesome. Um, it just goes uh, around your arm like this and you put your wrist through this and this here goes on your hand and they basically just take measurements or you take measurements and send them the measurements and they can basically custom fit it for you so this is what I did and I got it and basically it's just a grabber tool where you can reach down low or reach up high and I actually got a book off of my bookshelf this morning and you can see right here and the way you work it is uh, you move your wrist with the tenodesis and this cable right here goes up to these claws and whenever you go like this uh, with this hand it closes the claws and it's actually really easy to use it doesn't require much force of tenodesis and um, it's extremely dur durable and I will be having a video coming out on this very soon but be sure to check them out if you are interested. There will be a link down in the description below, quadtools.com. Ever since being injured, I had someone else do my leg stretches for me. And uh, we basically do them every morning. Um, and it takes about, you know, 15 minutes or so. But I decided to finally just do them on my own. Um, I know I can do them on my own, and I knew I could do them on my own because... I actually have a video showing how I do them on my own, but I was just too lazy to actually do them on my own because I'm not a morning person and uh, I was always way too tired to even function in the morning. 
uh, to do my leg stretches, but I decided that uh, in order to gain the independence that I was needing and wanting, um, I needed to do them on my own, so I've been doing them on my own for uh, quite some time now, uh, pretty much the whole time in March, and uh, it's been going good. Also, whenever I was laying on the ground, I was able to roll over onto my right side for the first time um, independently on my own. Um, I could always go to my left side, but for some reason, I could never go to my right side. Um, I don't know if it has to do with something like my collarbone breaking in my wreck or uh, my left femur breaking or any of that. But for some reason, every time I would try to roll over on my right without like grabbing something, it was pretty much impossible. But I finally was able to do it. There's this guy that I've been following um, for a couple months now, and his name is Sonny. And he has uh, this page called Bruised but not beaten and uh, he does a lot of motivational videos and stuff and uh, he's a quadriplegic and he's really really good at you know speaking and engaging with the audience and stuff and uh, he actually came out with his own shirts and I decided to get one and uh, here it is it has uh, the tiger on there and it says BBNB um, which stands for bruised but not beaten and on the back it has bruised but not beaten right there with the big tiger um, head on there and uh, the shirt is awesome and uh, so is Sonny so be sure to check out Bruised but not beaten uh, he has a Facebook page and uh, Instagram and stuff so be sure to check that out and lastly the book that I read for the month of March is Up Getting Up is the Key to Life by Brian P. Swift and uh, Brian is also a quadriplegic with a similar injury as myself, and we got, we both got injured at the age of 17, and uh, he finished high school and uh, went to college to become a lawyer, and he also got married and uh, is a father to um, three children, and uh, he also coached football after his injury, and um, it's a really good book. And it's uh, a book that he was, you know, really good at writing because it doesn't, um, it's not like some of those really fancy books. This one just like flows really smoothly and it's just like he's talking to you. You don't actually have to stop and comprehend what he's trying to say, um, if that makes any sense. So I suggest um, checking that out. Um, up, Getting Up is the Key to Life by Brian P. Swift and uh, that's the book that I read. All right, I know that's not much, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh, liked some of the things I showed you, such as that quad tool, and uh, be sure to check them out again. Also check out Bruised But Not Beaten um, by Sunny, and uh, that's basically what I did in March, and let me know what you did in the month of March down in the comments below.